everyone and welcome back to So What If I Sew or welcome if you're new my name's Jess and this is my channel all about sewing, dressmaking and all things stitch related. Now the more astute amongst you might notice it is not Saturday and yet this video is entitled Simple Saturday Sews because uh, it is part of the series um, but it's not the project I was going to be doing this weekend. I was going to be having a crack at the free knickers pattern from Sozo, um, yeah Sozo blog I think, um, I've linked it below. But my printer was given up on life, um, which is a pain. So <laughs> I have been having a wee look around the sewing room trying to find things that would still fit the brief because I still want to make something today. I've got a ballpoint needle on my machine. Um, it's fully threaded and ready to go. So I want to make something. I have, I've got this sort of inspiration. And then it hit me. There is a very easy project that has been sat in the back of my sort of to make pile for, oh God four months something like that four or five months it's been a while uh, this is the first one of the first fabrics I bought from so much more here it is lots of you will have seen this around so so much more has this I think the rag shop did or does uh, stitch and ink definitely have it it's gorgeous it's a lovely four-way stretch ribbing it's kind of these fun pink colors and I got it because firstly I love a striped garment I wear them constantly um, and also I thought it would be transitional between seasons. Um, I haven't managed to sew with it yet, frustratingly. However, this morning I remembered what pattern I wanted to make with it, which is this one that I got free in Love Sewing. It's a very simple, I think what you'd still call um, a bodycon dress for, what, four way? Yes, four way stretch, good. <laughs> that was close um, and I will be making the longer version um, I'm not going to do the kit pleat at back because I don't need it um, well it's a bit of a split but yeah I don't I don't necessarily think I actually need that but we'll also see how long the normal versions are um, and I'm going to make it long sleeved as well so I can wear it in the winter I love a dress like this in boots that is like a, a core wardrobe staple for me it's like tight stripy dress ankle boots done nailed it so this pattern says it is for the beginner um, and to be honest I can't see there being more than about three seams in this. Having a look it looks like we have a front piece, two back pieces and two sleeves. So it actually definitely fits the brief for Simple Saturday Sews and it's still a Sunday so the alliteration still works and it's fine. Um, so let's have a go for anyone who wants to have a go at this pattern or has this at home it is the M7531. Um, they really should name their patterns, but also I suppose they do so many that it probably isn't doable, but it's quite hard to refer to them like this. Um, but yeah, that is the pattern, and lots of you who get Love Sewing may actually have this free. So, let's have a go and see how we get on.
So let's just stop halfway through and see where we are. Uh, this is such an easy pattern. I haven't looked at the instructions. I don't really see a need to. Um, it will, I won't be finishing it with my overlocker because it's misbehaving, but I will go back and finish it afterwards. I've put a cute label in it, which I like. Um, and here we are. So our side seams aren't done up. I've got one sleeve in and I thought I'd show you. So I popped the sleeve in flat as you would usually, and then we'll just do one giant side seam all the way up. I made a medium, um, because that was a 36 inch bust, 35, 36. And it was basically my measurements, to be honest. And it actually looks quite good. I don't, I'm in my pyjamas, but, um, and it's going to about mid calf already. So that's okay. We'll do a wee inch hem and then it should be, it should be good. But yeah, I already, I love this fabric so much. And I do think with a stripy fabric like this, and it's, it's going to be quite clingy as well. Like you don't need much in the way of an actual pattern, if that makes sense. Like it's, it speaks for itself. And I think a sort of simple, kind of bodycon slip dress type style is probably the best way to go. So let's pop our other sleeve in, do our side seams, and then I'll hem it, and then I need to go cook a roast lunch. So, uh, by the way, I got these new pyjamas from Marks and Spencers. I hate making, well, I've made myself a couple of pairs of pyjamas, but I saw these and I was like, you know what, they actually look really comfortable. They're from m and they'll last me years. Um, and I probably won't buy any more or make any more pyjamas for the next few years. So I was like, why not? And they're so comfortable. Um, so sorry, just side note on my pyjamas. I am also wearing my Mylan sweatshirt. So let's pop another sleeve in, do our side seams, and then it'll just be a couple of bits of hemming. Now, I don't know if I'm going to hem it today because what I might do is throw it in the wash and just check before I hem it that it hasn't shrunk at all. Because I don't want to hem it and make it too short. So actually, yeah, genius, that's, that is what I'm going to do. So I will, I won't hem it today. I'll try it on, see what the length's like, throw it in the wash, and then I'll hem it another day. But realistically, it's a very, very simple dress. So let's pop our other sleeve on, do our side seams. We're ready to go. Um, I'm gonna slip it on and see what it's like, but we have a super cute jumper dress. So yeah, I'm gonna hem it all once it's been through the wash. Um, I've done a medium, which I'm hoping will fit. It looks a little baggy, but I think that once it's actually around my body, it should be fine. So let's try it on quickly, and then we'll see, fingers crossed, big success. You never know, and this, I have to say, this fabric is, challenging to sew with because it just moves and you will have noticed in the time lapses I basically stopped using pins because I just found it much easier to control with my hands because I just found the pins are actually distorting it because of the way the fabric pulls around so fingers crossed that's helped um, but just as an FYI because I know lots of people have this fabric it's beautiful it's cozy it's soft but it's a bit of a pain so let's try this on and see where we are. I am the most comfortable woman in the world. <laughs> this is a fabulous pattern. Very easy, very simple. This fabric is so slinky. I feel like form fitted without feeling uh, like I'm vacuum sealed into it. And I think that's because the jersey is quite soft and you know, a little looser. But it is, it's nice. I'll tilt the camera down a bit so you can see. There we go. So it's quite long. Um, well, it's, it's like just below midi length. So once I've washed it and hemmed it, it'll end up being midi length, which is perfect because I can wear it to work. Um, and I think, so I didn't follow the instructions at all. So the only thing I might do is just throw a tiny bit of stay tape in the top of the shoulders or ribbon or whatever I have, because I can feel that they might um, warp a little bit. But otherwise I think, it's, I think it's good. I think it's a success. And And it only took me, what, an hour to sew? So, you know, that definitely goes into the category of quick wins in palette cleansers. 
and yeah I just like this fabric on me it's nice and I think after each wash it will go back so it'll be a little tighter and then go down but I feel good I feel nice I feel um do you know what this feels like something I would walk in like if I was walking past New Look or somewhere I would instantly just go yeah buying that for me thank you I love it it is it's very me and of all the things I've made that are like kind of quick wins and stuff in terms of like wintry clothes this is one I know I'm gonna wear constantly because it is just very me and I think one thing we have to remember when we're sewing is that while there are some fantastic patterns that let us stretch and let us grow and maybe let us try on garments we've never wanted to wear before or never been able to wear there's also nothing wrong in remembering what you like buying and what you like wearing like you don't you can push the boat out but also there's nothing wrong with having staple patterns if you just want to replace items in your wardrobe with me made, me made or add to them as well there's nothing wrong with having stuff that you know is just your style and works for you so this is very much my style i love it i feel great um i'm gonna go take some photos and then adam's just gone to the shops so i'm gonna tidy up the kitchen and then roast a whole duck because you know why not it's a sunday <laughs> so all that remains for me to say is have a wonderful weekend guys um you will be seeing this same day it was filmed so i hope you have a lovely day and i will see you next weekend when hopefully my printer will be working and i can do another saturday series with you guys see you next time Bye.